Hi and welcome to this Blueberry Markets video update with me John Kibler, Head Currency Analyst. In this video we're going to go through the week ahead analysis, we're going to highlight some news for the week and some charts of interest. So we're going to start off with those news announcements and there's not so much in the way of the US dollar this week. Um, it is Martin Luther King Jr. Day tomorrow and uh, there is a bank holiday in the US uh, which is here noted um and yeah no real big data releases the only thing really to watch out of the us this week uh, is the q4 earnings as we have some big data or big earnings uh, reports coming out of uh, the financial sector so it'll be quite an interesting week for the s p 500 for instance um as that would largely be affected uh, by these earnings that are being announced. Uh, in other data, we have CPI data out of uh, the UK. Um, it is forecasted that CPI data uh, will rise to 5.2%, showing that inflation is continuing to rise in the UK. And uh, we have some Oz employment data, which is forecast to come in a little bit lower uh, than previous, but with a slightly more positive unemployment rates so uh, some interesting data sets coming out this week uh, really speaking the one to really focus on that I'd say will be the most important will be that pound CPI data moving on to the next uh, slide then so we've got strength meter um, strength meter at the moment um, showing us that we are seeing a little bit of a slight decline in the pound nothing aggressive but we know that the pound is in that reversal zone could start to creep a little bit to the downside what this is really showing us is that there is a bit more risk on risk off in the market because we've seen um, the likes of the yen fall again We've seen the US dollar, which is the red line fall, and the Swiss franc fall. So haven currencies are suffering a little bit at the moment. Um, currencies like the Australian dollar, Kiwi, um, CAD have been gaining a little bit of strength recently. Um, I personally like the idea of continuing to look for the short on the US dollar in the short term. Um, I, I'm not particularly too fond of buying aggressively into the Aussie and Kiwi yet. Um, like I said, that Aussie uh, news report um, of the jobs report could come in a lot less. So that could be something that's a little bit um, uh, would, will, will affect the Australian uh, dollar. And, uh, you know, it doesn't look too strong against the likes of the US dollar, which is weak at the moment. So maybe getting a little bit of a false reading here. Um, you know, last week we highlighted a Euro Auslong, which has worked out pretty well so far. So, um, you know, that comparison there suggests to me that the Aussie isn't as strong as what the strength meter is necessarily suggesting at the moment. Moving on to some charts of interest then. So like I said, dollar for me is a little bit more on the downside. We have kind of tested the previous structure high in here. You can see just about price came into that. I still feel like there's a little bit of downside to come from the dollar. Whether we get it this week or not is yet to be seen. If we are going to get it this week, where would we see it come in? I think we'll see it come in around about this 95.50 area. You can see that the market found some kind of support here recently. So if we were to find price up in at this zone, that could be where sellers come back into the market in the short term with a, a potential position move down towards these further lows around about $94. Moving on to euro dollar then, if we're expecting the dollar index to fall, euro dollar should rise. A couple of different scenarios here for euro US dollar for me. I do like to want to see sort of euro dollar back at 115.15. That's these weekly swing lows through here. I'd expect the price to test that before seeing any kind of trend continuation for uh, forming. Um, however, the four hour did change trend last week. Now, typically when that happens, we don't see a strong impulsive move to the upside. We actually see the opposite. So um, we could see some short term downside to euro dollar if we get anywhere sort of near previous structure lows um, up into this supply zone through there where a lot of selling pressure came from. However, if the dollar index starts to bounce from that zone we talked about, then I imagine euro dollar would be around about this 113.72. And if sellers come in on the dollar index, buyers are likely to come in on euro dollar. And we could see some longs coming in at that point. 
Moving on to Dollar Cad then. So we featured Dollar Cad last week. Um, we like the opportunity of downside here. Still like the opportunity of downside. We are testing a major level at 125. Um, so we could see some short term buying coming back into the market. The sort of last sort of uh, bearish push um, after the or before the break of this low here came from this selling pressure in here on Dollar Cad after some uh, CPI data. So I would like to see that tested again. Um, if we did get some bearish price action in and around that level, we could see some sellers step back in. Alternatively, you could look at a reversal idea like with Euro. We've seen the market kind of form this higher high pattern. Um, so if we were to kind of see a pullback into 125, we could see some short term buying coming back into the market at that point. Moving on to crude oil then. So obviously last week we talked about the idea that crude could could extend its gains up into 83.80. Very strong bullish move forming here on crude at the moment. Nice strong upward trend. Um, obviously I'd like to remain buyers of that trend however we are coming into a key reversal zone so price could start to extend back down into the 74.92 what i'll be watching is if this trend can hold or break so if we start to hold around about these levels here around about 81 80s and we, and we extend that move to the upside then great if we start to see reversal patterns set up maybe a sort of head and shoulders pattern, anything like that to suggest that we start to get lower lows begin to form, um, then I think we could see that pullback in the market. So, hope you enjoyed the video update. If you did, leave it a thumbs up, subscribe to the YouTube channel to see some more of our Forex content, and I will speak to you in the next video.